So here's my uh, little beach wagon that I slammed together. It only took three days to uh, to do it, actually. What it is, it's the little oh Razor dirt quad. And all I did was <coughs> pull the cowling off it. I didn't want to make a big project, make it look like a wagon and all that. I just need this so I can do my metal detecting on the beach. And I got a whole assortment of crap that I pack out there. I'm not just a regular metal detector. But anyhow, um, it didn't bother me that this takes up room in here. I don't care because it's the back half part that I'm going to be using. The beauty of it is you can see where the bolts on the wagon that already... All they did was get a Gorilla Wagon. You can get them for 88 bucks on Amazon. I paid 129 for mine because I was in a hurry. And then um, I Mickey Mouse bolted it there. I cut that big bolt off because I didn't want a big old hole in the frame. And I just put a U-bolt on there. That's fine for me. Other people, you can do it better, better job. But this bracket here that was a support bracket, I cut that off so I can just cut the basket out, slide it over. These, I just took the brace from the axle from the Gorilla Wagon and cut it, reversed it, put it, well, didn't reverse it, put it up there and use it as a clamp. Those bolts fit perfect inside there in between the rear rack and um, it, it just fit in there perfect. And then, um, I'm not done with it yet. I went ahead and put the charge plug there. I'm gonna have, this is the switch, the off and on switch. Um, the handle for the wagon, I just reversed it, cut the ends off, <coughs> the existing holes for the handlebars for the, um, the dirt quad. I just yanked them off, put some U-bolts on there, <coughs> voila you can see the beauty of it is is um, I just used the existing throttle cable I got an extension on the brake cable and I just mounted it on like that <laughs> and I just hold it like this walk with it I am going to get the different uh, sprocket the 36 I got it ordered 36 sprocket and a 9 sprocket up on the motor for the drive. So it cuts the power instead of 8 miles an hour. It's going to go about 4 miles an hour. I can run it kind of slow. Like this. And then if I want to gas it up, I can gas it up. The beauty of it is, I can flip the handle like that. Roll it over. And I can run it this way. Anyways. <laughs> I've seen a lot of guys had uh, <coughs> did a lot of work. They disassembled them. They modified them. They built really cool wagons. There's a guy on YouTube. I'll put his link up that I copied. The basket's a little offset. I don't care. This is just totally utilitarian for me. And I can put my instruments in here. My metal detectors. My surveying stuff. And I can um, cruise along the beach. Spend a lot of time out there. I did buy the extra batteries for it. And I'm going to hook them up. But you can see it's kind of Mickey Mouse. But I don't care. It's going to work fine for me. And uh, other guys, uh, the, I, I can see how you can really get into making a project out of it. And um, I just saw, well, I found the little dirt quad for 200 bucks. I actually paid 129 for the cart. I bought a um, longer uh, cable for the brake. And then I had to cut the wiring for the throttle and I extended that 24 inches but other than that that's pretty much it I mean it was real simple and it was easy to do um, I'm trying to think I, I never drilled one hole 
Uh, all I did was took my little grinder and I cut stuff off, cut that off, <clears throat> mounted the basket, and it's, <laughs> it's, you know, it's did it my storage unit. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm not a very good cameraman. I just seen how I swung that real fast. <laughs> Anyhow, good enough. So if you want to make yourself a little wagon cart, um, you know, the sky's the limit. You can make all kinds of, most guys, they cut this off here, but I don't care. I like what I did. Cause I could, I could literally run it this way. Or flip it and tow it. Okay, that's it.